Hi Ultimate Gardeners, welcome back to the Ultimate Gardening YouTube channel. In today's exciting spreading video, we'll be discussing about how to plant and care for house plants. So let's jump right into this video. So Ultimate Gardeners, I decided to pay a visit to Walmart yesterday because I wanted to do a Walmart Garden Center tour to show you guys what they had in inventory to provide for us gardeners. But unfortunately, they decided to close the garden center until further notice. So I had to improvise one way or another. And like I'm a gardener that likes to try out new things in the garden, I'm deciding to go ahead and incorporate house plants into my own house. So we'll be able to enjoy plants in and outside the house. So a few things I decided to grab that I recommend you guys grabbing as well if you're the first time buying house plants and planning to take care of them. So of course you're gonna have your house plants. When it comes to house plants, there's multiple different varieties that you can choose from. The three varieties I have here is a Dracaena, an Aglinomia or something like that, Aglinomia, something like that, and a fern. All these plants like indirect sunlight, meaning that they do not like sunlight to hit them directly, if not indirect sunlight, such as a windowsill. So all these house plants, they're called house plants because they love the condition a house has to provide. The temperatures, there's not a lot of water or rainfall. They get uh, decently fertilized when you're giving them fertilizer. And of course, they don't get direct sunlight. So house plants is a way of bringing beautiful plants such as these plants inside the house for you to enjoy and take care of as well. Another thing you want to get is plant food. You can get all-purpose food or specifically house plant food, but I personally found that anything works best, so I got the most affordable fertilizer. Another thing you're going to want to get is a few decorative containers. I bought these at Walmart, I believe, for $2. There are The thing I like about these is you don't have to have a saucer uh, available for these plants because there's already a saucer built into it. So when you water them, by the end of the week, you'll be able to drain out the water and you'll be good to go. Another thing I got, which is optional, is little pebbles that I would like to top dress it. You can use fa Spanish moss, sphagnum moss, doesn't matter what you use. I'm just using this as a little bit of a top dresser. Another thing I wanted to bring up is I found this set of a trout and a mini rake thing for $2 at Walmart and they feel like hard plastic. So I'm going to be using the shovel to scoop in the dirt into the containers. And of course, you can use some type of potting mix, but I'm re using regular topsoil that I bought at Walmart as well. So let me go ahead and clear this table up and let's talk about planting. So now I'm going to jump right into the planting. So I'm going to be planting the aglinomia first. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my pot of soil and I'm gonna fill it up with the dirt, like so. You don't really need a very big pot because these house plants tend to stay small. So you could give them a little small pot to start off with. And plus their nursery containers are very small. So look at this root system. Seems to be it was just starting to root bound, so I'm gonna just tease the roots a little bit. You don't have to do this. This is only if your plant is root bounded a lot. One thing I forgot to do is you want to go ahead and apply a bio starter fertilizer. So I'm gonna grab a little bit, like so. Sprinkle it on the top. We're gonna mix it in there. Set this aside. Then we're gonna get the aglanomia. We're gonna place it down in there. And then we're gonna top dress with soil. So to main gardeners, I planted up the aglanomia already. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the top dress. You have the complete option to not add a top dress, but I'm going to do so, so it can add a little bit of a beautiful accent to the plant, but it looks pretty already. Look how pretty cool that looks. So I'm only gonna add a little bit because I, I only bought three bags so. And like so, you are done and you have planted up your first house plant. So a few things you wanna take note of when it comes to caring for a house plant is that number one, they do not like direct sunlight. 
So putting them in a windowsill is the best option you have. Or if you have a lot of lights throughout the house, just set them on a dinner table or a little stand or a little nightstand. Doesn't matter where you put it, just make sure some type of light is provided, but it's not, it should not be direct sunlight. Number two, all house plants should be watered two times every week and at the end of the week, especially if you buy these very useful pots, you empty out the saucer with, for no water can build up because once the water builds up, it can overflow and damage the surface you have them on. So water them two times every week and then by the end of the week, just empty the saucer out of water and then you'll be good to go. Third, they do not like to be over fertilized, but they do not like to be under fertilized. So you want to give them a slow release fertilizer like the one I gave them. This one lasts up to two to three months. So by the time three months pass, I'll be able to apply this fertilizer again and it will do everything you could to live a happy life. Another thing is you want to be a little bit more vigilant when it comes to house plants because they're a bit more delicate. So any type of insect or disease that is opened to these uh, house plants, they will get it very badly because house plants are not used to be living outside so they cannot combat it as, as like if you were planting a hibiscus outside which is able to combat a disease but house plants are a little bit more delicate you're gonna have to baby it around. So let me go ahead and pot the rest of these plants up and then we'll be right back to wrap up this so video. So Tim and Gardeners, that's gonna be it for this exciting spreading video. Once again, I discussed with you guys about all the things you need to learn when it comes to house plants. I absolutely love all the house plants I got here today. Once again, I got the Aglanomias, a fern, and a Dracaena with me today. Super easy to do, super easy to take care of them, and they are a great accent plant you should add into your own household. So thank you all so much for watching this video. May God bless you and your family. And also never forget to grow big ultimate gardeners. Bye guys.